Some of the most widespread Italianisms in the world are those that describe various preparations made using coffee. Among these, the names of the drinks that accompany the classical breakfast at a coffee bar enjoyed by so many Italians clearly stand out. First and foremost, the word coffee, of Turkish origin, came from Arabic and has been used in Italian since the 17th century. The first people to prepare a drink with coffee beans were the Arabs. The beverage then spread to Turkey and regions of Asia and North Africa, while the first to import coffee to Europe were Venetian merchants at the beginning of the 17th century. From that moment onwards, the spread of coffee throughout Italy has been unstoppable. As Pellegrino Arcuzzi wrote in his book, Science in the Kitchen and the Art of Eating Well, this precious beverage that spreads a joyful excitement throughout the entire body, was called the beverage of intellectuals, the friend of literati, scientists and poets because, as it strikes the nerves, it helps clarify ideas, renders the imagination more active and accelerates thinking processes. Il caffè. Coffee is the central point of a constellation of voices throughout the, the world, such as Café Espresso used to describe coffee prepared on the spot with a special pressure electric machine, Café Latte which comes from the union of coffee with milk, and Cappuccino. A cappuccino is a hot drink of Italian origin made with coffee that is mixed with milk foamed using the steam produced by an espresso machine. Its name comes from its color, which recalls that of the habits of Capuchin monks. This word was first documented at the beginning of the 20th century, with the meaning of black coffee laced with milk and began to spread internationally after World War II. One of the most ubiquitous Italian words today, cappuccino is used in 40 languages and has even led to the formation of pseudo-Italianisms in some. These words do not exist in Italian but are created abroad to associate the prestige of Italianness to a given product. The names of drinks like the now famous Frappuccino and Mochaccino have established themselves in the United States. For example, finally, a dessert made with coffee stands out among those words most used abroad to refer to Italian gastronomy. It is, of course, tiramisu considered to be one of the 10 desserts which best represent Italian gastronomic tradition according to a survey entitled La Ricetta d'Italia carried out by the Accademia Barilla and La Cucina Italiana on occasion of the celebrations for the 150 years of the unification of Italy. La ricetta, che. The recipe, which like any successful dessert, has given rise to a whole host of variations consists of layers of ladyfinger biscuits soaked in coffee alternating with layers of mascarpone. The dessert is then topped with cocoa powder and served chilled. The name tiramisu comes from tiramisu, literally, cheer me up, and from there the word tiramisu and then tiramisu, to which the accent on the U was later added. Tiramisu is one of the most popular desserts in the world, and certainly considered to be representative of the Italian gastronomic heritage. Furthermore, this term, with the fragrance of coffee, is one of the most widespread Italian words in the world, present in a huge number of languages, including Japanese, Indonesian, Thai and Lao. It is, therefore, without a shadow of a doubt representative of our language and therefore our culture.